YouTube, how the devil are you doing? It's Cool King checking in again on behalf of the EDC Cooperative. I hope you're fine and dandy. So knives and EDC sort of go together. If you use your knife uh, regularly, they go dull and obviously you need to sharpen them. Sharpening, it's not one of my strong points if I'm honest. Um, I do own knife sharpeners and people have asked me to sharpen knives for them before and have been happy with the results. Um, but I'm not. So that being said, I started to look into sort of all-in-one systems rather than using stones and sort of freehand. Uh, something that might make it a little bit easier for me and uh, just more consistent. So I started looking around at systems. They are quite expensive, but obviously so are my knives. So, you know, investment and all that jazz. Just by pure chance, a few weeks ago now, Worksharp contacted me and said could they send us a new product that they're looking at releasing in uh, about two weeks time now I think uh, from the time of filming this anyway did we want to have a look at it and see what it's all about and it's a knife sharpening system so I jumped at it in all honesty uh, so let's have a look right so first off in the box we have a envelope um, so that has a nice little card in it uh, telling me what is all about. This is very nice of uh, Worksharp to send us. It's a bit of a nice maintenance kit. We've got a Mighty Hank Hanks, which is a microfiber backed one. We have some Blue Lube, which is the Benchmade Blue Lube Lubricant, and the Loctite Blue 242 Thread Locker. Uh, which is really nice that they've actually sent that as a full maintenance kit. So we're here for this, which is the Worksharp Precision Adjust Knife Sharpening System. Uh, so the box is a standard box that gives you all the, the features on the back. Let's just open it up and see what is inside the box. So first off, we have some uh, instructions. Normally I say we don't need them, but I will put them to one side, just in case. We have sharpening stones. Uh, we've got a base plate, Workshop logo. Put that down. And then this is the actual main body chassis, however. Put that down. And this is the innovative clamp. So base uh, plastic we've got rubber feet on it you know it's it's not going to move uh, under light use anyway the actual chassis itself we've got uh, an adjustable knob here you can see it moving up and down if you watch that white thing there uh, so down the side here we have five degree increments at 30 25 20 15 so this has a range between 15 and 30 degrees so any knife uh, blade that you have that's somewhere in that range you're good and then on this side we have one degree increment so if you are at 25 and we wind it down a little bit because we decide we want 24 uh, we can see this arrow on this side moving down to 24 We'll keep it at 25 for now. Magnets, as you may be able to tell in that hole there. And we have a button on the back here, which is quite interesting. On the back of these jaws, there are magnets. Quite a nice positive, you know, again, light use. That's a very nice feature. So if you want to take your knife out, and put it back in you can and you're not sort of fiddling on this messing about everything is sort of you know you can do it in your own time whatever so to put it on the base it sort of slides in at the front there and you can see at the back you can just sort of clip down and then that's all fixed as one so the, the button on the back press it now and you can see that that spins round so the beauty of that is your blade is in there You've done one side, spin it round, and you can do the other side without having to sort of rejig anything. So easy. I think that's a really good thing. I don't know if other sharpening systems have that feature, but this is really good. The sharpening stones themselves, it's a, 
I think it was, was it tri abrasive rod. You've got three tri uh, sharpeners on here. That's the ceramic side. We have a 320 grit. There you go. 320 grit on that side. And we have a 600 grit on that side. Obviously, the 320 is for your more abrasive if you've got any scratches or dings that you want to sort of get out of your blade. 600, your smoother, light sharpening, really. And then your ceramic for your finishing. So, how this works is there is a pivot here, and you can see holding the pivot, I can move the bar slightly. Obviously, that's fully loose. And we have two little rubber o rings here which move up or down. So, this little pivot here and this little hole here sort of marry up together. And again, it's held in by a magnet. And I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Uh, so then that's in there, nice and tidy. And then we have a range of motion like that. And obviously, if that rubber o ring was further up, we could come further up and further down. So you've got that sort of range just with how I've set it there. So let's take this out and have a look at this. We have a little thumb screw there that we can tighten and loosen. Oops. We can tighten and loosen, pull that out, and we can see jaws open, and there are sort of internal jaws as well. They are rubber lined, which is quite a good thing. So today I'm going to sharpen um, this Kershaw Squawk, I think it's called. Um, this is a, an EDC knife that I used to use for work. Uh, it's one of my cheaper knives. Um, first time using the system. I'm not saying I don't trust the system. I don't trust myself. Um, so I'm going to have a go at sharpening this. I have also got a kitchen knife uh, to have a play with. So the idea is, just get that, I won't tighten it up fully, is the line of um, the jaws to sort of go with the line of the knife. Obviously, um, it's a curved blade, so we're going to struggle, but as a rule of thumb, that's what we should be looking at. And then we can just sort of tighten that up nice and tight, and we can put it in. Now, one thing I will just um, do is on the top here, if I press that button again, that white button sort of denotes that that is the top. So it's nice and easy to do. Again, I'm going to go for 600 grit on there. That's It's just quite a nice little turning thing. I don't think I mentioned that. But it's, that's locked in place. Give it a little bit of a push and then it'll lock into place. Push, lock into place, push, lock it into place. So we start at the heel of the blade and move to the tip. Just going to check our angles looks about right that 20 degrees ish we're on so we start the heel and we can just move in a nice motion like that being careful not to come past the tip so we round the tip off once we've done six to eight passes we can move that pull the blade round and again starting at the heel Just doing the same to the tip. Now I think I could probably rub a ring down, put a bit too far there, so that get further down the blade, and again further up if I really wanted to. So once I've I'm happy that I've done six to eight passes, I can just move around to my ceramic and again do exactly the same now this blade was very dull uh, as i say it's been well used for some time loosen it off i can feel now that that is a hell of a lot sharper than it was what other knives can we do i have a kitchen knife here not the uh, the best but let's have a look at that Kitchen knife, well used. Um, we want to go halfway length of the blade. The handle doesn't really matter. 
the system can sort of hold that and you know I'm not worried about it being too heavy straight away I'm on right on the edge of the sharpening stone there so I know that I need to move that down a little bit so we're covering all range of motion and then again at the bottom I could probably come down a little bit but not 100% necessary and again only on 600 and you can just sort of start the heel move to the tip and again being careful not to round the edge and we only need it's only light work that we need we're not pressing down hard right so i've done eight passes uh, on both sides uh, using the 600 grit and i can feel a massive difference uh, just straight off uh, i will go again do six to eight passes with the ceramic and see how that does So I've done again six to eight passes with the ceramic blade and that is now, uh, I'm happy that that is extremely sharp. Right, so there you have it. I've shown you uh, me using the system with two uh, inexpensive knives. I will have another go uh, with other knives, but that's the first time I've used it and I'm very, very impressed with the how it's come up with them two knives, uh, how easy it was to use, how the blades actually have come um yeah well recommended the best thing about this system is the price 59 dollars so 60 dollars for that system for fully adjustable the features on it uh, the fact that you can change the degree quite easily with just winding the nut and um, the range of motion you've got so you can do smaller knives to larger knives the flipping of the blade, I think that's a real good idea. How stable it is on uh, the desk, that was really good as well. For $60, I can't recommend this anymore. If you're someone that's a bit of a knife enthusiast that just wants something that's a bit better than just using stones, then this is definitely for you. I'm going to use it. I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to have another go at other knives just to see if I can get used to using it, different uh, blade shapes and sizes very very impressed with it uh, really for for what it is so simple to use i'm simple there you go uh, so if you've got any questions put them down below about this tool or anything in general um, i should get back to you as soon as i can i will put links to workshops website and i believe that they have a proper demo video coming as well so that's probably far more professional than mine we'll put the link to that as well uh, just so you can have a look at theirs yeah there you go Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Take care.